friends, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Laura. This is the Last Minute Laura channel. And when you come here, you can usually find me making something or doing something crafty. Today, we are going to do another crochet project. And what we're going to be making is this super cute cottage core bonnet wool winter hat. I'm calling it the winter bonnet. It's a really easy pattern. It's worked in the round for the first few stages and then we work out straight. It's actually, it's pretty quick, pretty easy. It's got this really nice ribbed texture for the neck. And I thought it would be a really nice project for you to have in time to make a few of these for Christmas. These would make a great gift. I am going to be showing you how you can change the size really easily and make a baby size or a kid size or an adult size. I'm gonna be making the adult size because I've got a lot of adults in my family who would love a new hat. And this is a great one for when it's really cold because it protects the back of your neck, as you can see in my little drawing here. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, keep watching. So for this project, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a crochet hook. I'm using a five millimeter hook. You could probably get away with a four millimeter or a six millimeter uh, and still get really close results to this. Obviously, if you use a six millimeter, you're gonna end up with a little bit of a um, bigger hat. If you use a four millimeter, you're gonna end up with a little bit of a tighter, smaller hat. So if you wanna make it, adult sized, then I would say go for a five millimeter. You're also going to need some yarn. I'm going to be using some red and green yarn just to get into the holiday spirit. Uh, and I'm using wool. You could definitely use something else if you want. This is about a worsted weight. And I think that if you have a 100 gram ball, you should be good to go with that. But I will let you know once I finish the hat, how, uh, how much yarn we actually went through if I remember. Okay, so let's do it. So to get started, we are going to make a circle. And for that, we're going to start with a slip stitch. If you're someone who does better with the written pattern, then join my Patreon. All of my written patterns that I create go up on Patreon. And with the $2 subscription fee, you also get access to the Discord server so you can ask questions and share your projects and all kinds of fun stuff. But this is going to be going up for patrons. Uh, it'll be up by now, actually. So if you become a patron, you'll be able to get that written pattern as well. So let me zoom you in so we can get into the instructions. Okay, so we're going to begin with a slip knot. Then we are going to do chain four. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to double crochet into that first chain stitch. One, and then two, three, there's our double crochet. And now that chain four has become a double crochet. So count that as one stitch. So now we have two double crochets into that first chain stitch. We're going to do another eight double crochets into that same chain stitch for a total of 10 double crochets in the round. So one, double count, make sure you've got 10 stitches here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then we are going to connect that round with a slip stitch, but I am going to change colors here. I'm going to change colors on every round. So for our first ch color change, let's go to nice pale green. So to do a color change, if you wanna do it just like I am, you're going to want to insert your hook into the top of that chain the chain four, where that stitch begins, we're gonna insert the hook, and then we're gonna yarn over with the original color and with the new color. Yarn over, yarn over, and we're gonna pull through, slip stitch to join. There we go. And now we'll drop the first color. Where are my scissors? We'll just trim that down. And now with the new color, we're gonna do a chain of three. So one, two, and three. There we go. And now that counts as a double crochet. We're gonna to wanna to make it so that there's 20 double crochets in the round. 
To do that, we're going to put two double crochets in each stitch all the way around. I'm going to hold the tails of the previous color and the tail of our new color, and I'm just going to hide them in the round. So our first double crochet is going to go into the bottom of our chain stitch there. So that makes two double crochets. And now we're going to go around the circle doing two double crochets in each stitch around. At the end of the round, double count, make sure you've got 20 double crochets. And then we're going to slip stitch the round to join again. And if you're changing colors like me, you can follow that same process to change colors um, that we did for that first round. If you're like me and you don't love working in the round because you have to count your stitches, uh, don't worry, this pattern is actually only gonna be worked in the round for a few rounds before we uh, give up on working in the round altogether and get back into working flat. So there is not a ton of stitch counting that you need to do for this one. So if you're just watching it to determine if it's something you want to make, know that it actually, it's going to be a pretty easy pattern to follow. Also, by the way, if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I put out new videos fairly regularly, once a week when I'm very productive, and I live stream four times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So you can come to those live streams to ask questions about the tutorials or just to chat with a nice community of people who love to get together and just sort of get our day started. We always talk about crafty things and plants and animals and all kinds of fun topics. And it's just a really nice community and we would love to have you. So definitely subscribe and join us on Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays and Fridays in the morning, 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. we get together. And if you haven't yet, sorry about all the spam here, if you haven't yet, don't forget to click the like button. It really does help the channel grow and I would really appreciate if you could take a second and just click the button. All right, I've made it all the way around, doing my last stitch here. And now I am going to join my round and change colors. And now I think I will change to red. So once again, to join our circle, I'm going to insert the hook into that top loop there, yarn over, and with the new yarn, we'll yarn over, and then we'll pull through both. So slip stitch to join. And then with the new yarn only, I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And now we're on row number three, round number three, sorry. We're going to start by double crocheting into the base of the chain stitch we just did. And then we are going to just double crochet once into the next stitch. In the following stitch, we're going to put in two double crochets. One, and two. And next, we're going to put just one double crochet in the following stitch. We're gonna repeat that all the way around. So we're gonna do two double crochets in one stitch, one double crochet in one stitch, two in one, one in one, all the way around. And again, I am hiding the tails from my previous yarn and my new yarn color by just holding them with the um, previously worked round and double crocheting over them so you won't see them. And there we go, I've made it to the end of my round. At the end of this round, you should have 30 double crochets. So count your stitches, you wanna have 30 double crochets. Now let's switch colors to the dark green. All right, and now we are on round number four. We're gonna start round number four with a chain three, just like the other rows. And this row round, we are going to start by double crocheting into that base of that chain stitch again. And this time we are going to double crochet one time into the next stitch and one time into the stitch after that. And then we're going to double crochet two times into the stitch after that. And 
And then the next two stitches, we're just gonna put one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And in the following stitch, we are going to do two double crochets. An easy way to follow your where you're going to be putting the two double crochets, if you look at the previous round, you're putting two double crochets into that stitch that you put two double crochets in uh, from the previous round. So you can see here's the two double crochets and then there's one double crochet, two double crochets, one double crochet. So I'm at one of the spaces where there's two double crochets. So in that space, I'm going to put you guessed it, two double crochets. And then in the following stitch, it's just one double crochet, so we're just going to put one. In the following stitch, it's just one double crochet, so we're just gonna put one. And now again, we're at the next one where there's two, so we're going to put two in here. And we're gonna do that repeat all the way around. The repeat is two double crochets, one double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochets, one double crochet, one double crochet. And just repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, you're gonna wanna have 40 stitches in your round, so double count. Make sure you didn't skip any stitches or add any extras. You just want 40 double crochets in this round. I will zoom through the rest of this round and I will meet you back up when we are gonna start round number five. Now we've made it to the end of the round. That's kind of got a holiday vibe, right? Kind of cute. Now we are going to slip stitch to connect the round, but let's switch back to the light green. Okay, and now for round number five. We're gonna begin again with a chain three, one, two, and three, and we're gonna begin again with a double crochet into the base of the chain three. Now we are going to double crochet into the next three stitches, just one double crochet in each stitch. One, two, and three. And then we are going to do two double crochets into this stitch. Again, you can follow the previous round. If you have a look here, you can see there's one double crochet here, but then in this stitch, there's two double crochets, one and two. So right there is where we're gonna put our two double crochets. One and two. And then if you look, the next two stitches, there's just one double crochet in each. So we'll do one double crochet there, one double crochet there, and then one more with just one double crochet. And then you'll see we're back at a stitch that has two double crochets inside. See right there? So that's where we're gonna put two double crochets. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around until we get back to the end of the round. Um, so that repeat again is two double crochets in one stitch, followed by three stitches with one double crochet in each stitch, and then another stitch with two double crochets, and then three regular double crochets, two stitches, <laughs> it's two stitches, three regular double crochets, two double crochets in one stitch, three regular double crochets. I hope that makes sense. So I will meet you when we get to the end of round five, and guess what? That's actually the last time we're gonna have to do an increase on this hat. For the adult size, this is going to be enough increases to get that hat all the way around your head when we get to the bonnet shape. If you want to make it smaller, you don't want it as big as a full grown adult's head, what I would recommend is doing a fewer number of rounds. So if you're doing a small child's head, you might only need to go for three rounds before you start following the bonnet part of the tutorial, which is where we're gonna add the uh, shaping around the face. If you wanna do a small young adult or larger child, I suppose, uh, you might wanna do four rounds. Another way that you can alter the size of this pattern is just by changing your yarn and changing your hook size. So if you pick a 
3.5 millimeter hook and some sport weight yarn, you can follow this exact pattern and you're gonna get a completely different sized hat. It'll still be fine, like following the pattern, but the hat will be much smaller because your hook is smaller and your yarn is smaller. So that's a way that I like to sort of play around with patterns is just by changing the hook and the yarn and seeing what you get. So if you want to make a baby version of this, I would say get some smaller yarn, do uh, a little bit of a smaller hook, and maybe do one fewer round of increases, and that will give you a smaller circumference for the head. I hope that helps. And there we go, we made it to the end of round five. Isn't that cute? Now we're going to change the yarn color and slip stitch our round together all at the same time. I'm going to switch back into the red, and at the end of this round, you should have 50 stitches. You wanna have 50 stitches in your round at this point. Okay, we're gonna start row number six with a chain three, just like we've been doing, one, two, and three. And for this round, round number six, we are just going to double crochet around. No more increases, nothing fancy. So that means we're not going to be double crocheting into the base of that chain stitch. We're just going to skip that base of the chain stitch, and then we're going to double crochet around. And there we are at the end of round six. We've just done double crochets all the way around. Time to switch colors again. So I'm going to slip stitch the round together, but I'm gonna switch in to the dark green. I feel like. And there we go. So now for round number seven, we're gonna start the same way chain three, one, two, and three, and we're gonna double crochet around, but we're going to leave the last 10 stitches unworked. So count back 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're not going to work into any of those stitches. And from this point, we're only going to be working flat. We're not gonna be working in a round anymore. We're gonna be treating this like a flat piece of fabric. So. Do your double crochets again as normal and get all the way around to that marker. If you have a particularly wide neck, you might want to make that gap a little bit larger. So you might want to leave the last 15 stitches unworked. But I found that leaving the last 10 unworked fits really well for me and I have a pretty average sized adult head. And here we go, we've made it to that last stitch of the row. I'm going to finish with a double crochet, but because I want to change colors, I am going to not finish my double crochet. I'll have one yarn over pull through to do left. And now I'm gonna switch back to the light green. And there we go. And now we are on a new row. So we're gonna start with a chain two, one and two. And now we're going to double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, and we've made it to the end of that row. So I'm going to switch back into the red yarn. And at this point, we are on round one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now for rows nine all the way up to 16, we're just going to repeat this back and forth that we're doing here. We're just gonna do double crochets all the way to the end of each row. And at the end of each row, I'm going to switch colors because that's what I want to do. Uh, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. And we're gonna chain two and turn to begin each row. So I'm just gonna zoom through this part of the tutorial because this part is just repetitive. We're going to do all the way up to 16 rounds. The great thing about changing colors on each round or row is that you'll be able to count them really easily. You'll be able to see where you've changed rows or rounds without uh, worrying about any miscounting. So make your way all the way to round or row number 16. I'll see you back here soon. Okay, so I'm just coming up to the end of my 16th row here. And now what we're gonna be doing is the ribbed neck portion. So let me just show you where we're at. 
we've got the back of the hood here, or the bonnet, and then we've got the whole front portion here. So this whole portion down here is what we've got to work next. That's going to be around the neck. And we've got to make that come, because this is about to the uh, jaw line, and then we're going to want to have the entire neck covered. So you could try it on at this point to see how it's fitting, um, uh, but I already know this fits. So I'm going to move on to the next step, which is going to be working down these rows. We're going to double crochet down the rows and then across this little neck section and then down the rows on this section. So let's do that. I'm gonna keep working in the dark green so I don't have to do a yarn change here. And what I'm gonna to do to bring myself over so that I'm not working uh, the rows up and down like I've been, I'm going to put another double crochet into that corner there. And then I'm going to put another double crochet into that corner there. So that'll be two double crochet stitches into that first row along with your last stitch of the row. Now I'm going to just double crochet down these rounds, these rows, sorry. One double crochet stitch in each row, and it's gonna look a little bit loose or gappy, and that's okay. We're going to be fixing that with the following row. The double crochet rows are pretty far apart because of how tall the double crochet is. Uh, so as you can see, those double crochets look a little bit far apart at this point. See, they look a little far apart, but don't worry, they're not gonna be. So just do one double crochet down each of the rows. And when we make it to the point where the um, rows turn, so right here, you can see we're going to be turning from the rows like this back into each of the stitches this way. So we're going to treat this last one here as a double crochet hope this makes sense. And now we're going to just double crochet in each of these stitches across. And there we go. Now we're back at that same join on the other side. So I'm going to do one last double crochet in that stitch. And now we're going to be working up those rows again. One double crochet in each row up. And now in the last row, we're going to end with two double crochet stitches just like at the beginning of the um, at the beginning of this row. And now we're at the end of the row, we're going to chain two, one and two, and we're gonna turn it around. So now we have that first row of the ribbed stitch. It's not a ribbed stitch yet, but we're about to turn it into one. So here's how we're gonna do that. We're going to do a front post double crochet, which is yarn over, insert the hook behind the loop, or behind the post, yarn over again, pull up a loop, and then just complete a double crochet. And that's gonna pull that post forward, front post double crochet. Now we're gonna do a back post double crochet. So yarn over, bring the hook up and back down, pulling that post back, yarn over and pull it up a loop, and then complete a double crochet as normal. So we're gonna do front post double crochet, back post double crochet, front post double crochet, back post double crochet, all the way across. And at the end of the row, chain two and turn. And this is actually going to be the repeat we're doing, front post double crochet, back post double crochet. We're gonna keep doing that repeat um, for a total of, hmm, 11 rows. We will do 11 rows of front post double crochet, back post double crochet. Uh, and that is going to create this really nice ribbed stitch, which uh, is a cute detail on this little cottage core hood, cottage core bonnet. Gotta get those keywords in, right? If you don't know how to do a front post double crochet or a back post double crochet, if you don't know this rib stitch just yet, I'm gonna link in the description as well as up in the corner right now, my tutorial for that front post back post double crochet. It's detailed, it's slow, and um, it'll help you get the hang of it before you're doing uh, projects like this. If you already know how to do it, obviously, don't worry about that. This is just for if you're new at it.
By the way, this is a great stash buster project. If you change every row, you don't need very much yarn to get around any of these rounds. So it's a great project to use up all of those small balls of yarn that you've stashed away because eventually you'll find something to make them make with it. Well, this is something that you can make with it. A great stash buster for sure. Okay, so I'm just making it to the end of my 11th row of the ribbed stitch here. And it is looking really cute. I'm happy I stuck to one color for that. Makes the texture really nice and visible. So let me just finish that. And one more, there we go. And I'm not gonna finish the stitch, I'm just gonna let you see. So you've got this nice ribbed stitch here that connects. So if you think, there's how the hat is going to look, sorry, like this. Um, but we need to make it a little bit bigger so that it makes it all the way around the neck and also because uh, it looks cute when we have these finishing touches. So at this point, I'm going to change my yarn color just on my last stitch there. I'm going to switch back to the light green and I'm going to just chain one. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the entire project. So I'm going to be working first up the um, rib sit stitch on the side, and then I'm going to go all the way around the hood portion. And then we're going to go all the way along this line as well. And I'm going to do that in single crochet. So I'm going to be doing a total of three rounds that way. Uh, but I think I'm going to change color somewhere in there. So I'm going to just start right here on this side. And I'm just gonna give as many as fit in each row. So one single crochet per row here. So I'm doing the same thing to hide my ends. I'm just tucking them in as I go. That way I won't have to weave in any ends at the end of the project. We had a whole talk on the live stream about how some people don't mind weaving in the ends and some of us just hate it. And I am on the team of I will like to avoid having ends to weave in, so here is how I'm doing it. But you can also just leave your tails and then weave the ends in after if that's better for you. Okay, and now we're back at these stitches. Again, I'm going to be just doing single crochets here all the way around. And when you make it down to the corner here, what I'm gonna recommend is just putting three stitches into your corner stitch. So there's one, there's two, and there's three. And that's just gonna help you work around the corner for the next round. And then we're gonna put two in this corner here because there's already one from our first round. Um, and then we're going to slip stitch to connect those two, but I'm gonna also change my yarn color here. I'm gonna switch back into the red. And there we go. Then I'm just, just gonna chain up one and I'm gonna go around two more times in the red before we do our final round, which is going to have a little bit of a, a little bit of a difference in it so that we can add some strings, some, some ties on this. So I'm just gonna zoom around the last two rounds in the red and I will meet you back here when I get to the end of that second round of red. All right, so we've made it all the way around. I added an extra row around just to bring out the um, front part of the hood a little bit. So here is where we're at right now. And now what we're gonna do is create some ties so that they can be tied on. This hat hood can be tied on. Um, and to do that, we are going to start, we're at the corner right now, so we're gonna start with a chain and we're gonna do a chain of 35. So one, two, three, four, 35. Now what we're gonna do is slip stitch in the first chain from the hook or second chain from the hook. And then we're gonna slip stitch all the way down that chain. And that is gonna create a nice little tie. When you get back to the, um, the body portion of that, um, bonnet, we're going to be single crocheting along the bottom, along the 
bottom neck edge of the bonnet. I'll show you what I mean when we get there. So I'm just gonna zoom through these slip stitches down the chain. And when I get back to the hat, I will come back here and show you what we're gonna do next. So now that we're back at the beginning, we're going to be doing a row here along the bottom neck of single crochet. And then when we get to the other corner, we're gonna do the same thing with the chain 35 and then um, slip stitch down the chain. So let's start with our row of single crochets. And there we go. Now I'm gonna do a chain of 35 again. One, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and slip stitch in each chain all the way back to the body of the bonnet. And there we go, we've got the two ties there now. So I am just going to secure off my yarn here and then I'll weave in that last end and we only have one end to weave in because I hid all of the other ends while we were doing the crochet. But here is what the hat is looking like. It's actually such a simple pattern, isn't that quick? That's not a bad, like, that's pretty quick. I think you have time to make one of these before Christmas if you wanna get one of those to somebody as a gift. But that is the entire project. After I weave in this end, I am gonna go outside to take the dog for a walk and I will wear the hood so that you can see how it actually looks on. But what do you think? Here's the final project, it's done. Easy peasy, I say. It was a quick project, an easy project. Doesn't use too many complicated stitches, so there's not a huge learning curve if you're new to crochet. Also, in the description will be links to all of the stitches I used, so that if you're new to crochet and you want to learn how to do all of the stitches involved in this project, but you don't know them yet, then you'll be able to learn and you can come back to do this hat pattern after that. But it's a simple little bonnet, a little cottage core vibes. I did mine the one that I think is super cottage core vibes is all done in natural dye. But um, this one with the red and the green is just so cute for this holiday season. Get a little bit into the spirit of Christmas with your colorful red and green bonnet hood, whatever you wanna call it. But I think this turned out really cute. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below if you liked this, if this is something that you're into, if you'd like more things like this, or if there's something that you'd really like to see, let me know, leave it in a comment and maybe it'll be the next video that I film. So anyway, friends, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to all of my patrons who are supporting me on Patreon. If you would like to support me and the channel and everything we're trying to do here, definitely check out the links in the description for all the ways that you can support the channel. So check out Patreon um, for this crochet pattern, the written pattern with the image from my bullet journal. That's gonna be up this week. So definitely check that out and uh, let me know what you think. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time and have a great rest of your day. Bye. And hey, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I put out new videos every week and I live stream Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. here on YouTube, same place, same channel. So if you wanna come for a chat, definitely check that out. Okay, now it's the end. Bye.